You're watching Drake Wing Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, and I right here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something to be on Twitter, the gaming drag today. I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Sweet Spices. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, anyway, that's everything. A any questions? Everyone can do magic? Yeah, so everyone can do magic, right? Mm-hmm. So, so, normal people can do magic. <clears throat> what? So, normal people can do magic, too. You mean the ones who can't see spirits? In theory, yes, but the same thing that blocks them to see spirits... Yeah, the same thing that blocks them to see spirits, yeah, that also blocks them from using magic. Wait, something that's blocking them to see spirits? I thought it was because normal people can't register the image of spirits in their mind. Who said that? Roderick? I nod. I mean, yeah, in some sense that's how the veil works. But that's one of many theories of why normal people can't see spirits. The mind can't register spirits completely theory, or forced ignorance theory, can't exactly explain why aggressive spirits don't exist in high-populated areas. In Aegis, or at least in the Aegis Research Development Department, the concept of veil or veil theory is the one that is working. He then stops talking and sees both of your faces riddled with information overload. You're not following, are you? Okay, you know what? I can explain the theories for hours, but I got something else to do, so maybe another time. Anything else you want to ask? Why can I do magic better? So, why is my magic affinity better? I'm not that qualified, but probably genetics. I'm not really sure about genetics. My parents aren't. I'm not really sure about generic genetics. My parents aren't. You just learned about spirits a couple weeks ago. How can you be so sure? Maybe your parents lied to you. Who knows? Also, also, I bet you don't know how OP your cousin is, so... Fair enough, I can't contest that. Uh, what if it's just luck? Yeah, I guess, but that case, it's astronomically rare, like a wizard coming out from your closet and said, You're a wizard, ha- Never mind, I'll stop. You're a wizard, Harry. Anyway, anything else you want to ask? Uh, what about the veil? My classmate used a veil to make a space for fighting spirits. Felix? Yeah, him. Since you're kinda a scientist, do you know how it works? Nope, it's still in debate within the scientists themselves. I mean, we know what it can do. It can create an ideal space to fight spirits, it can hide spirits from people's eyes, and it can completely block your magic when someone, when some other people are watching. We experimented a lot to reach that point. We might even lock some people in a room with a spirit to see how many are required to banish a spirit. That's fucked up! Isn't that supposed to be illegal, let alone being confidential? Oh, we don't do that, that would be horrible. Yet... Okay, I get it, but if you don't know how it works, how can you make a phone app about it? A trial and error. The app itself is just a modernized version of already existing device. I hope that clarifies a little bit of how things work. Anything else? Yeah, let me put my pillow on my lap. Have something to lean on. Okay, alrighty. Nope. Nope, all good. Alright, you can wait outside or you can stay and watch me test the other guy. Uh, let's watch. I'd rather stay here. Sure, be my guest. Thanks, Doc. Oh no, I'm not a doctor. Call me Roan. So, Marshall, right? Yep, give me the stick. Looks like a nail. It is water time. Oh, coffee time. Mm, drinking Siren's Blend today. It is terribly delicious. Nope, blood pressure first. Ah, come on! Different pressure, different light. I need to recalibrate it. Wait, really? Yes. Roan crosses his fingers behind his back. The faster we're done with basic stuff, the faster we got to the magic stick. Fine, make it quick. Man, it's like seeing a kid in a dentist. Your hand, please. All right, that's normal blood pressure. The doctor quickly pierces Marshall's finger to test his blood. Ow! You said you want to go fast. Have you ever experienced any supernatural... Uh, never mind, I already know the answer. Actually, his cousin arranged me a one-on-one -on -one meeting with a spirit before. That's an unorthodox method of confirmation, but very well. Here, hold this. He jumps behind the table. All right, here we go. He takes the glow stick and I hide behind the table at the same time. About 250 lumens. About 250 lumens. Noted. Hey, not bad, right? He shrugs and smiles underwhelmingly. Ah, oh, come on. Hold on, there's something I want to ask you from earlier. Why are you so excited about this? It's magic shit, dude, I'm curious. That's the spirit. Now we wait for... Oh. Are they... 
Are they done? That... that. Now, off you go then. Nah, we're staying here. I... have... a job to do! Ah, come on, you'll get lonely. Also, about my request yesterday. <sighs> Fine. Close the door and the curtain. The Red Panda takes out a photo of a strange ball along with a paper full of scribbles while Roderick covers anything that allows people outside to be seeing in. That strange ball feels familiar. That ball is a special... That ball is a special storage that are made to contain another soul craft and at the same time hide the ore of whatever's inside. Alright, so it's not what I'm looking for. It's guarded with a lot of runes and can only be opened by someone from within the family of the owner. But with the photo alone, I can't determine whose family this ball belongs to. I look at the photo again and then I remember. Um, Marshall, that's yours, right? When did you take this? He looks at me. I swear it's not me. I swear it's not me. Well, that's another mystery solved. Whatever, whatever. So, Doc, how do I open this then? Mm. It's your family business. Who am I to know about it? A lot of people are actually interested in this family business, and I have no idea about it. Roan pauses. Roderick, is there anything else about this picture that I don't know about? Yes, but I have a lot of things in my hands right now. You said you want me to help with this shit. And I only have two hands. He turns around to Roan. Can you tell me more if I show you the ball? Yes, but not much. And it probably needs magic to open it, in which you haven't learned any. Come back when you do. One advice. Keep it close. Way ahead of you. With that out of the way, you may proceed in the lounge outside. Sure. Thanks, Roan. Also, Rod, you stay here and help. What do I gain from it? Doing your job. I'm not in your team no more. As long as you are still in here, you're going to help me one way or the other, or another. Bring Marshall to the door and the Red Panda points at. Before I open it, a familiar white tiger appeared and opened the door for us. Bro, I got 20 more masks for you. Oh, hey, classmate. Hi, Felix. Are you kidding? It's already 100 in a span of three days. When are you, where are you getting these from? Is there a convention somewhere? There's three, actually, and they held three small conventions in the Expo Center. Isn't that right, Josh? Uh, yes, actually. I enjoy my time there, really. Dear Lord, Rod, bring that mask to the analyzer and sort them based on size. Will do. Miss the old days, Roddy? Nah, probably a little. I need to input the data from yesterday. Any findings? Same as yesterday. Obsession, spirit, all of them. My theory is still the same. Second, y'all, it is coffee time. Delicious. The abnormal increases of spirit population manifested by the same and specific thoughts are caused by a soul craft. But hey, it's just a theory. Sure, sure. So where's the soul craft? Rod. Still working on it. It should be it. It should be tomorrow, if not because the surveillance team decided to have a mid-year party. Fucking bullshit. Why don't we get a mid-year party? Exactly. Man, at this point, I'm gonna barge to their office and sort the data myself. Be my guest. Tell me the results later. No need. Already done it. Uh, excuse me, but we're still here. Oh, sorry, let me get the door for you. The lounge is to the right, at the end of the hallway, with the gay-ass walls. Can't miss- Ah, do you need a pocket money for vending machine outside? What are we, ten? Gay-ass walls? What? Those must be some very homosexual walls. Oh, um, oh, yes please. Here. Go get yourself a, ma a Marsh Bars or something. Marshall catches the money before we walk outside, and four people in the lab discussing by themselves. What do you think? About what? All this crap. For me? Shocked and a bit anti anticlimactic. Says the one who lit the glow stick brighter. You're the one with the magic artifact. He laughs awkwardly while he buys a candy bar from the machine. So we wait until he finishes his business, or... What else can we do here? Explore? Duh. He says it while taking a bite. No, I'd rather not get into trouble. You're no fun. Oh, hello. What are you two cuties doing here? I thought you are supposed to be inside. Oh, we're told to stay outside until Roderick finishes his job. Roderick, finish his job? Really? She sighs. Stay here, I'll talk to him. Oof, someone's in trouble. I don't think that's the case. I don't know, it looks like trouble to me. Alright. Let's go home, you two. 
Uh, we're not going to wait. We're not going to wait for him? Honey, if he said, I'll work on this a bit and then go home, he means another four to five hours. A little bit of advice for someone who worked with him for two years. If he says something like that, tell him that you'll go home alone. Well then, shall we? <sighs> Thanks for the ride again, Mrs. Claire. Miss Claire. Don't mention it, love. Stay safe. She waves her hand and drives away. Straight back to the cafe? Yeah, we can't leave her alone for too long. Really, dude? That girl kicked my ass. Ding. Huh. She texted me already. Enter from the back door. Wait, what? The cafe must be packed tonight. Alright, we gotta hurry then. Marshall goes straight towards the cafe's front door. I call him before he gets another, in, another inch closer. Where are you going? The cafe, duh. Yeah, the back door is that way. If we go there, the detour is gonna take way too long to get there. We gotta help her fast. This is the way. This is not the way. Yeah, but she has to enter from the back. There must be a reason for it. Maybe she locks it from the back. <laughs> Relax, your cuz owns this place. It'll be fun. Bang, crash, bang. Yeah. Crash. That's not good. I can't even get close before a body thrown out from the cafe, followed by several thugs running out in panic. You crazy bit! Another guy flies out and drops on top of the previous one. Language! The rest of them flee from the scene. I look back at Marshall and his bonehead de and his bonehead definitely have some second thoughts. We need to look good in front of customers. Uh, let's go to the back door. Asshole. You two. Uh, ah, uh, hey Elise, we just got your text, so... She holds her hands up. Just get in. Are you okay? They're just minor disturbance, I'm fine. You sure? I faced worse. Uh, ah, right. Well, at least the cafe is fine, except for a few broken glasses. We have spare in storage upstairs. Marshall? Yeah, yeah, I'll get some from my room later. Anywho, what do those bastards want? You tell me. They're looking for you. No way, girl. I've been low profile all week. And how's that working out for you? Well, it works for a week. Alright, Marshall, can you please get the glass before someone comes in? Danielle, coffee time. Oh, yeah. That's a good cup of joe right there. But show! The hyena dashes upstairs, leaving me alone with the lease. So, how's your day so far? She picks up broken glass pieces from earlier in size. Don't talk about it, but the beating earlier does help blow off some steam. Oh, good for you. Ah, God damn it! why do these things keep appearing? Ah, those spirits keep giving me a headache. How's the investigation going? Uh, what investigation? Oh, you mean the mask? Oh. What is it called again? Obsession spirit? Marshall's shouting changes into several smacking sounds, which sounds like someone hunting a mouse. At least looks up, sighs once more as if she doesn't have the energy to comment on that, and then looks at me. Yeah, that one. Any news? Well, I heard something like it's caused by Soulcraft. Also, I think Roderick was having trouble with surveillance data. April. Get away! Get away! Should we check on that? It's not a big deal. They're harmless. One shot from your handgun is enough. What handgun? You didn't get one? I nod. She stares. What? Her face transitioned from shock, anger, and disbelief before. Dang it, Roderick! She bolts upstairs faster than I've ever seen before. There are a couple slashes, some screaming. It's girly, but it's definitely not from Elise. <laughs> a bit of crashing sound. And it ends with a mumbling sound as they both as both of them appear from behind the door. Marshall's behind her, holding a box of glasses. I can't believe you walk out from the eval without a single gun! Not my fault, he only gave he only gave five dollars for candy bars. What are you, ten? I know, right? <laughs> she face palms she face palms and sighs at the same time. Looks like she's used to this. I need to talk to him after this. Use this for now. She ducks behind the counter and merges the two sets of handguns as brightly painted with blue and white color. Wait, you have guns laying around below the counter? Yes, how else would I defend myself? I don't know, talk it out? We're dealing with abominations incapable of thinking. And you suggest we talk it out, I guess? She pulls out two handguns that's brightly colored blue with white paint. Oh. I don't know about your taste, but that gun looks like it shoots corks, not lead. Not my choice, standard Aegis design. Make toys and not weapons. We're trying not to make a scene in case you need to take it out in the public. Both of us look to the guns from the counter. While I'm still carefully holding and inspecting it, Marshall's already trying to aim with it. Where do I put the lead on this thing? Here's the neat part. You don't. So, what is this thing gonna shoot? I heard you said conventional weapons won't work on spirits. 
Energy bullets. You both used a magic affinity meter on your evaluation, correct? The light stick? It's not a light stick. It works like one to me. Regardless layman's terms, both the meter and the gun are soul crafts. It takes energy from you and converts it to light, or in this case, bullets. Alright y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks, or tip if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye